This video presents part 1 of the first commandment. Thou shalt not have strange gods before me. Question 1. Why is it said at the commencement of the commandments, I am the Lord thy God? Answer. It is said at the commencement of the commandments, I am the Lord thy God, to show us that God, being our creator and Lord, can command whatever he wills, and that we, being his creatures, are bound to obey him. Question 2. In the words of the first commandment, Thou shalt not have strange gods before me. What does God command us? Answer. By the words of the first commandment, Thou shalt not have strange gods before me. He commands us to acknowledge, adore, love, and serve him alone as our sovereign Lord. Question 3. How do we fulfill the first commandment? Answer. We fulfill the first commandment by the practice of internal and external worship. Question 4. What is internal worship? Answer. Internal worship is the honor which is given to God with the faculties of the soul alone. That is, with the intellect and the will. Question 5. What is external worship? Answer. External worship is the homage that is given to God by means of outward acts and of sensible objects. Question 6. Is it not enough internally to adore God with the heart alone? Answer. No. It is not enough internally to adore God with the heart alone. We must also adore Him externally, with both soul and body, because He is the Creator and Absolute Lord of both. Question 7. Can there be external worship without internal worship? Answer. No. In no way can there be external worship without internal, because unless external worship is accompanied by internal, it is destitute of life, of merit, and of efficacy, like a body without a soul. Question 8. What is forbidden by the first commandment? Answer. The first commandment forbids idolatry, superstition, sacrilege, heresy, and every other sin against religion. Question 9. What is idolatry? Answer. Idolatry is the giving to any creature, for example, to a statue, to an image, or to a man, the supreme worship of adoration, that belongs to God alone. Question 10. How is this prohibition expressed in Holy Scripture? Answer. This prohibition is expressed in Holy Scripture in these words. Thou shalt not make to thyself a graven thing, nor the likeness of anything that is in heaven above or on the earth beneath, and thou shalt not adore them, or serve them. Question 11. Do these words forbid every kind of image? Answer. Certainly not, but only those of false divinities, made to be adored, as idolaters adore them. So true is this, that God himself commanded Moses to make images, as, for example, the two statues of the cherubim for the ark, and the brazen serpent in the desert. This video concludes part 1 of the first commandment. The next video will present part 2 of the first commandment.